Did anybody else feel like they were falling through a tunnel? Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> Alrighty, we're about 10 minutes away. The drop of the puck here for our one and only matchup here this evening on the SPO Network presenting the Slapshot Premier League in its third season of Rebound. Welcome everybody tonight. I'm Darth. I'm going to be your head honcho here behind the mighty and we'll, uh, behind the mic. <laughs> laugh track, you messed me up. <laughs> I, I can't explain how that happened. I don't know how you did that, but way to go, laugh track. <laughs> Man, you, you, you affect me in mysterious ways. Anyway, we got one match up here on the ballot here tonight. Toronto-Miami, the rematch. 
This is their second matchup of the night. We'll get into the nitty gritty on those statistics. But for now, let's take a look at the standings currently here starting week four off strong with one of our best matchups in the professional division. We have the third seed, the Miami Vice. Right now, they're six and, uh, so what, six, two, and one? And um, the Toronto Penguins down in the sixth seed being four, four, and one. I'd do the math and they'll fly there. Um, of course, Toronto Penguins, one overtime loss being to the one and only Miami Vice. And then Miami Vice's overtime loss came to the hands of the Yosemite Grizzlies back on the 8th. That was here on the SPL Network. And the overtime game between the Vice and the Penguins was on the season opening day. That was over on Clifford's Channel back on the 4th of August. That was a 9.30 matchup if you're curious. We'll get into the stats. We'll get into the nitty-gritty nitty of it. But right now, here's the statistics on the standing so far. We have a three-way tie for second place between the Winter Park Owls, the Miami Vice, and the Yosemite Grizzlies. Um, you know, Vice could really use these two points. I'd pull them one, I guess technically it'd be half a game, back behind the Colorado Cobras, putting them 15 points on the standings. Toronto Penguins looking towards that relegation position a little nervously as they're uh, one and a half games out of that position. Three points difference between them and the Turtles. The Turtles right now at six points on the standings. Toronto being at nine, if you need me to spell it out for you. But of course, you know, a win here for the Tur or a win here for Toronto will push them up past the plague and put them a lot closer to contention for the top four in the bracket. Um, of course, you know, we got a long road ahead of us here in uh, week number four here in the third season of Slapshot Rebound. Of course, Toronto Penguins, three teams this season, or th three teams this week are going to be the Los Angeles Comets, the Maryland Ice Orcas, and the Miami Vice. Um, I believe all their games are scheduled, uh, and I think they're most of them, if not the other two, are going to be on Sunday at 9 and 9.30. So something to look forward to as we close out week four on uh, the end tail of the week. And for the Miami Vice, their three games are going to be against the Winter Park Owls, the Yosemite Grizzlies, and of course tonight as they play the Toronto Penguins. It's going to be a good one, going to be a fun one. Let's take a look at their rosters if you don't know quite what they look like. Of course, for the Toronto Penguins, we have Lemon Bond, Ocelot, Tyrant K, and Bray. Bray being a new acquisition, part of the, the the big catastrophe. That was the 23rd. I don't think catastrophe is the right word, but there was a cataclysmic amount of um, roster transactions. Maryland Ice Orcas dropping tank for Bigsby. Bigsby being one of the best uh, puck handlers, I want to say, coming out of Season 2 down in the Intermediate Division. I cannot wait to see him take to the ice. I, I'm a big Bigsby fan, and um, we're going to see how he does in the professional vision. Completely skipping over Challenger, but that's a topic for another time. You know, somebody Grizzlies dropping Cactus and picking up bombs from the Toronto roster. Of course, we don't see bombs here tonight because he's going with his OG squad. Toronto, having a gap in the roster, decided to pick up Bray. This all happened on the same day in a matter of hours. And so Bray has found himself another team up in the professional division. Last season, he was on the Sinaloa Heat. He capped off the season in a relegation tournament where the Sinaloa Heat ended up going down to Challenger and their spot was handed off to another Challenger team. Don't remember specifically who it was that took their spot down there, but Sinaloa Heat did not return and so, you know, Bray found himself a comfy seat here on the Toronto Penguins. We'll see how he ships up here tonight if he does, in fact, play. There is no guarantee to that. I'm just happy that that decided to work. I'm trying to start a prediction. It's just not letting me. It's just straight up saying no. But taking a look at the st at the statistics, giving you something to look at while I try to figure out why Twitch doesn't like me. We're about five minutes away from the drop of the puck here this evening. Bombs the top goal scorer of Toronto not being in the building tonight. Going to be the biggest impact, in my opinion, out there on the ice as we look towards Lama Bond. Of course, being the head honcho behind the helm. He has 31 points, leading his team in the points column as well as the saves column and the possession time. Um, 
big kudos to bombs for having 69 takeaways of course you know once you hit that number of takeaways you got to leave the team you can't continue on your your takeaway career so of course bombs heading out with 69 same number he wears on the back of his jacket but of course i gonna have to step up big here tonight maybe tyrant k is gonna be on the ice who's to say who the starting three are for the toronto penguins but the miami vice we can all assume it's gonna be the top three dogs on their roster we got meat sale we got rodeo we got kyler and um are forced to be reckoned with as the last time these teams uh, sped up towards each other back on the fourth. Here's the statistics that from that game, getting the bare bones of it, making it easy for you guys to read and see. Bombs having two goals, Lemon Bond having one. This was an overtime game that Rodeo ended up with the hat trick and the go ahead goal on his seventh shot of the match. He found himself the W and um, took those two points, pocketed it, and added it on to the standing. Started off the season strong, looking to keep it going stronger as we move into week number four here in the third season, a slap shot rebound. Um, of course, Penguins not having bombs out there on the ice once again. One of the biggest factors, biggest story of tonight. We'll see how Lemon Bond and Ocelot pick up the slack if um, their third is Tyron K. If their third is Bray, it's going to be interesting nonetheless. But, uh... Yeah, we're not going to keep them waiting as soon as they jump in the lobby, as soon as they get readied up. We'll, uh, we'll get this one rocking and rolling here shortly. But um, until then, you know, there you go. It was a close one. Very heavily offensive sided for the Miami Vice. Of course, the Miami Vice, whenever they get set in stone in the offensive position, um, they're a hard team to stop. But, you know, the Toronto Penguins like to hold the puck, like to keep on to it. Lemon Bond, of course, the best quarterback, or at least one of the best quarterbacks in the league. He, um, as long as he has the puck on his stick, he can't get scored against. And uh, so I think that's going to be the mindset of the Toronto Penguins. Let Lemon Bond quarterback it. If, um, if Kyler and Rodeo can uh, shut off the passing lanes to Lemon Bond, I think it's going to be a pretty much just set match. But um, it's all up to how they conduct themselves, Rodeo. Looking for the offensive opportunities. Kyler playing more of the three. Likes to play with fire. We'll see if Ocelot can burn him a few times. But um, that's all yet to be determined as we're nearing the beginning of the last time these two teams will see each other before the playoffs. This is the end of their regular season matches. Everybody plays everybody twice in the standings. If you want to take another look at the standings, here they are. Everybody plays everybody twice here in the tail end. This is the last time... Each matchup is going to see each other outside of a playoff uh, fixture. But if you don't know how playoffs work, top eight in the pro division make it. Bottom two get thrown down into a relegation tournament with the challenger division. If you don't know how SPL is structured, the challenger division right now has eight teams. Um, the top six make it into the pro promotional series, trying to promote up into pro. They have two spots open. The bottom two teams from pro get thrown into a tournament with the top six of challenger. Um, it was supposed to be the bottom two of challenger play the top six of intermediate. But the Maui Monkeys disbanded halfway through day one, and then the Tampa Bay Tapirs disbanded not too long ago as N handed off the reins to the team to Spills. Spills decided, I don't want to do this. He disbanded the team. And so um, we're down to eight in the Challenger Division. So what we're going to do with the Intermediate, we're not sure yet. <laughs> But we do know that the Intermediate Division is going to have at least six teams looking for that those two extra challenger spots as we head on to Season 4 of Slapshot Rebound. And of course, our Open Division is starting to dwindle a little bit as the season goes on as we have two conferences still. One has nine teams, one has ten teams. Um, they almost went nine and nine, but we convinced one of the teams to stay on. And they basically just restructure their team, as you can see in the Open roster transactions. A lot of numbers moving around down in the Open Division here today. Um, of and of course, congratulations to Diener and Less Than Dennis for being promoted onto staff. Um, they've really kept SPL afloat over the past uh, few seasons, and they've really impressed me personally with just how much dedication they have in the league and um, a well-deserved orange roll. I think it's a better fit than their blue, but uh, I'll, I'll keep my opinions in myself. You do you, I'll do me. We won't do each other. Probably. See, it rhymes. It's pretty cool, right? But um, once these guys get in here ready to rock, ready to roll, we'll get it down on the ice, you know. Until then, here we are. Just abiding our time. Of 
course. Toronto is going to be your home team. He's going to be on the right side. Toronto is going to be on the right side of your screen in their red and black. Miami going to be the away team on the left side of your screen in their pink and black as well. It's part of the EO hockey game. Is Rodeo awake? I didn't send out. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Professionality at its finest. Man, I got a square brain today. I forgot. I typed it out to three or four different people because I didn't know who was going to be online. And I just straight up forgot to hit send. Wow. All right. It's going to be a fun one. Um, yeah, Kyler Rodeo in the lobby. Ocelot, Lemon Bond as well joining into the party. And um, wow, that sure was a neat one, hey? <laughs> uh, can't donate nothing tonight. Who's going to get at it? Renard out here with his 10 gifted subs, flexing his shirt off with his big muscles and stuff. Can we decide who will win with rock, paper, scissors? I, don't, I mean, I don't see why not. Maybe a little sharks and minnows. I haven't played sharks and minnows since I was like 12. That brings back memories. It's about the same as actually playing. Just roll a dice, see what happens. All right, our starting lineup for the Toronto Penguins. Ocelot, Lemon Bond, and Tyrant K. And for the Miami Vice, we got Kyler, Rodeo, and Meat Sale out there. And for Toronto, we got Bray in the building as well in case a substitution is needed. But I mean, yeah. Payday is always a good day. Is today Wednesday? Today's Wednesday. Yeah, I'm still on my mental clock. I've been thrown through a loop. Because normally I don't do anything on Monday, Tuesday, but that's become my volleyball day. And uh, it's been a wild journey there. But enough of me and, and more about the game as all six parties are ready to rock, ready to roll. We're taking it down to the ice for 15 minutes of slap shot between the Toronto Penguins and the Miami Vice. As the puck is dropped, the game is on. And we're swinging. Ocelot towards the top side, looking to bring this one down around town towards the top side. Rodeo there, pinching this one. Down towards the near side boards. Lemon Bond looking to take this one out. Kyler here with a reversal. Takes this one out for a nice deke. Lemon Bond pinching this one down low. Ocelot thrown to the top side point. Lemon Bond in hot pursuit of that one. Kyler picking this one up. Looking for a forehand shot. Nice deflection by Ocelot. Sent down to the near side boards. Ocelot up against Meat Sale. Looking to take this one down the near side in the Toronto territory. Rodeo trying to knock it loose. Goes off Tyron K. Back to Kyler. Here's Kyler. Whips this one top side. Here's Rodeo. Back down low to Kyler. Kyler here with a forehand opportunity. Crosses his own blue line. Nice chip pass over to Rodeo. Nice shot by Meat Seal and an absolute dimer. We found our first goal of the match. 1-0. Miami coming out with a big one. Tic-tac, a little toe, a little, little ketchup, a little mustard. And that one's finger looking good as we have 418 on the clock here in the first period of action. We are looking at the, the boys in pink right now. Meat Seal looking to take this one top side. I like the drip of the helmet. Looking fresh, looking shiny. Really, really, really brings out his eyes or something like that. Like, here's a nice save by Lemon Bond. Looking to hand this one off to Ocelot. Ocelot, little, little no fake Kucherov move. Able to get Meat Sale out of the paint. And Lemon Bond, a happy bunch as he passes that one right onto the hip. Ocelot knows exactly what to do with that one. 10 feet from the crease. And we are tied with 357 remaining here in the first period of action. Kyler off the hip. Tyron K trying to force this one loose down the near side boards. Kyler trying to keep this one pinned along. Looking for a passing lane, if any. Kyler towards the top side of the ice. Looking to get this one off the forehand towards the net. Nice save by Lemon Bond. And out the other way sends this one sailing. Here's Kyler down the near side. Whips this one out. Here's Tyron K over to Ocelot. Catches it off the forehead, but not quite able to send that one packing. Meat sale down low. Kyler picking this one up. Sends this one top side out to the point. Lemon Bond with a nice turnover for Toronto. Sent back down low for Kyler. Kyler here with a whip out. Gets this one over to Meat sale over to Rodeo. Here off the back and scores! 326 remains in this first period of action, and they absolutely destroyed the sandwich. That was that play. Beautiful top right sniper. Don't take the easy shot. Make sure to grab the style points while you're at it. That's the rodeo way, and we have a 2-1 lead for Miami. Kyler, top side off the forehand, hits this one off rodeo, and Kyler finds himself the 50-yard field goal. 
That's an oof at its finest. The full 180 footer. And Miami taking the lead by two. Just like we drew it up in practice. Kyler looking to do it again down along the top side of the boards. Off the forehand, looking to feel out the passing lanes. Look for, looks for Rodeo. Goes off Tyron K. Down low. Rodeo here trying to take possession. Lemon Bond there. Knocks it loose for a moment. Goes off Lemon Bond. Out to Kyler. Goes off Tyron K. Tyron K. Down to the near side. Trying to get this one past Meatsale. Good stick battle as it continues down along the near side boards. Tyron K. Back over to Lemon. Lemon here to look to take this one down the near side. Tyron K. Stopped up by Kyler. Kyler here out in front looking for Meatsale at the top side point. Able to take this one down with a swivel. Not able to jive with it. Goes off the side of the cage. Rodeo here banks this one for himself off to the top side. Looking to take this one out for a walk. Ocelot there knocks it loose. Throws this one down the length here in the first period of action as we have two minutes and 30 seconds remaining we have a 3-1 game for the vice tyron k down center avenue dangles his way through shot not quite able to score lemon bond here sent down to the near side ocelot out of the point good shot kyler there directs traffic top side throws this one out of the zone with a good chip ocelot there knocked loose to the top side here's lemon bond off the forehand stopped up by rodeo rodeo here along the top side slot trying to get this one out goes off tyron k tyron k off the back end able to dump this one in into the miami zone Tyron K off the forehand, throws this one down the near side. Ocelot there with a nice pick, keeps meat still from gaining possession. Lemon Bond there down the near side, able to find Ocelot off the forehand, not quite able to beat out Kyler easily. Comes back to Lemon. Lemon off meat still. Meat still trying to get this one through the neutral zone. Ocelot getting involved as well, knocking this one loose over to Rodeo. Tyron K stopping him up at his own blue line. Rodeo off the top of his stick, able to get this one over to Lemon Bond off of Ocelot. Rodeo there with a nice shot, but just not quite able to get it in between the uprights. One minute 40 remaining here in the first period of action. Nice shot by Ocelot and Tyron K, the final point of contact. Contact. We've got a one goal game, and Toronto's found a way to make it happen. Good deflection right past Kyler. Enough to keep it from getting saved, and that's what it's all about. Toronto within one. Beautiful deflection. Kyler down low, hounded by Tyron K. Kyler towards the top side of the ice, looking to get this one off the forehand. A little backhand action sandwiched between Toronto players. Kyler retreats, gets back into the uh, back into the driver's seat. Meets still here at his own point. Looking to take this one through. Forced back into his own defensive end. Off the forehand. Perhaps going to dump. No, nice backhand shot. Trying to catch us all by surprise. But not quite able to hit the, his mark. Rodeo there. Dumps this one down. Lemon Bond sends this one topside. Tyron K up against Meat Silt. Knocks loose over to Kyler. Kyler looking to take this one down low for the vice. Tyron K stopping up. Out in front. Nobody in a pink jersey. Looking to send that one home. Ocelot there. Sending this one down even farther into the Miami zone. Here's Meat Silt picking up to a 3-2 game. Rodeo off the backhand from the point. Stopped away by Tyron K. Good stick battle between Rodeo and Tyron K. Tyron K taking this one away. 11 in red. Stopped up by Meat Silt. He's out down the near side boards, trying to set this one up for Kyler to pick up and take away. And he does just that behind his own cage. Looking to start this breakup for the Miami Vice. Here's Kyler. Off the forehand finds Rodeo. Rodeo along the top side slot, trying to bring this one out and through. Goes past Ocelot, back into the defensive end for the Vice. Here's Kyler with 30 seconds remaining. Gets the puck underneath his stick. Good pass by Rodeo, but not quite able to find the dome of meat sale. Kyler off Tyron K. Ocelot off Kyler. Down low. Able to bring this one back over to Lemon Bond. Throwing this one down the near side. Goes off Meat Sale. Back to Rodeo. Rodeo up against Ocelot. Chips this one past through the traffic. Kyler with an opportunity off the back end. Forehand. Try to dangle through, but not quite able to keep that one under his own possession. Kyler. Stick battle behind the enemy cage. Up against Ocelot. Brought out to Meat Sale along the top side boards with three seconds remaining. Kyler. Meat Sale. Shot scores! And right before the buzzer sounds, the Miami Vice make it four to two. Beautiful play creation, a playmaker at his finest down in the corner, working his magic for the boys in pink. And that's going to do it for the first period of action. 4-2, Miami in the lead. Good stuff so far. Vice have already met their shot total of the previous matchup between these two teams. And it's just going to keep ticking on and on through the night. And um, Lemon Bont's got his work cut out for him. It's got to be said. But good, good pressure from both sides of the ice. A very high impact match so far. And um, something that we can probably expect to see continue throughout the evening. Not as much possession time as I thought we were going to see coming out of this one. But uh, as all six parties are ready to rock, ready to roll, we're taking it back down to the ice for the second of three periods between the Toronto Penguins and the Miami Vice. As the puck is dropped, the game is on. Tyron K winning that one down to the near side, but that's a controversial one as the Vice are on the offensive push for the first drive here in the second period. Rodeo, Tyron K do battle. The leftover for Kyler. Here's Ocelot down and behind his own blue line trying to direct traffic to the top side. Kyler there knocked loose back over to Meatsale. No, Kyler going to pick this one up under his own volition off the forehand. 
forehand, able to find Meat Cell out in front, but a beautiful stoppage. Ocelloth keeping that front of the crease clean. Kyler here retrieving this one back beyond his own goal line, looking to set this one up for the Vice down the near side, perhaps with a pass, but Ocelloth with a beautiful clog up of the passing lane. Lemon Bun directing traffic topside out to Tyron K. Tyron K going to be the first man back to this one. Somehow Kyler's faster. Not entirely sure what kind of hacks, how much money he's paying Irvion, but we all saw that um, hook line and sinker. I got to sneeze, so I'm going to... Maybe it'll go away. It's gonna, it's got, it's gone. Of course, yeah. Now it just seemed like a liar. Lemon Bond out in front, not quite able to find Ossoff. Meat Seal here gonna be the first one. That one getting this one into the top side corner of the Toronto territory. Lemon Bond Rodeo battle against one another. Down to the near side, the puck is loosened over to Ossoff. Ossoff down low. Kyler, the first touch on this one goes off Tyron K. Back out into the defensive end for the Penguins. Lemon Bond down low, back behind his own cage, looking to take this one out and around town. Goes off Rodeo over to Ossoff. Ossoff off the back end, stopped up by Kyler. Kyler dangling in, out of the point, looking for the shot, not quite able to hit the angle. Down to the near side, here's Rodeo with the possession up against Tyron K. Tyron K off the forehand, getting this one out of his own zone. Here's Meat Sale off of Ossoff on that dump in, finding its way over to Rodeo, throwing it out in front, but Kyler just a little behind on that play. Kyler picking up possession down to the near side, able to direct this one over to Rodeo. Rodeo off the back end, stopped up by Ossoff, and that one goes down the the ice 4-2 Miami still in the lead a little ricochet pass from Meatsell trying to catch everybody off guard as Lemon Bond sends this one down here's Tyron K down behind his own goal line Meatsell down in the corner as well trying to battle this one free for the vice up along the top side point Lemon Bond up against Rodeo here's Meatsell Tyron K as well getting a stick in the Jimmy Jams here's Meatsell down the near side pass over to Rodeo shot not quite able to direct that one on I think Lemon Bond got just enough to keep that one out beautiful save by Tyron K he was the last point of contact before that went through the crease here's Lemon Bond getting a hip on that one off the back end Rodeo there trying to a little Beyblade action and Ocelot against Rodeo back behind the Penguins netting the battle continues down to the near side Tyron K Kyler Met up by Meatsail. Meatsail picking this one up. Calm and collected down the near side. Here's Ocelot down low. Looking for Tyron K, but no. Kyler going to pick this one up for the time being. Down low in the corner. Goes out in front of his own cage. Able to find Meatsail up into the top side corner. Here's Rodeo down low. Out in front. Hits Ocelot along the way. Trying to cradle this one out from his own defensive end. Finds Tyron K up against Kyler. Kyler down to the near side. Loosening this one up. Meatsail picking this one up where he left off along the near side point. Ocelot with a good battle. Able to find his captain back behind his own netting. Toronto right now down by two with two minutes, 20 seconds remaining here in the second period of action. A lot of time to work with. Ocelot off the forehand, a pretty good shot, but just not quite able to hit the posts on it. Radio there directing this one out into the Toronto's area. Lemon Bond down near side. Kyler with a nice turnover, able to find its way to meat sale, and that's a hat trick. 2.07 remaining. 5-2 is the score. Beautiful feed from Kyler. Meat sale just sitting on the back post, waiting his time, and his time was in fact waited. We'll see how we continue on. Kyler along the top side. Here's Osloth off the backhand, able to find his way over to Lemon Bond. Lemon Bond off the backhand bank out, finds Tyron K along the near side point. Here's Rodeo bringing this one back down off the forehand. Hits Osloth back behind his own cage. Here's Lemon Bond getting a hand on this one off the backhand. Met up by Meatsell. Meatsell along the top side point, looking to direct this one back over to Kyler. Osloth keeps this one in the neutral zone. Here's Kyler retrieving this one back into his own defensive end with 140 remaining here in the second. Kyler off the forehand over to Rodeo, backhand over to Meatsail. Meatsail almost able to juggle that one off the Chrome Dome, but not quite able to do it well enough. Here's Lemon off the back or a forehand out into the top side point. Kyler able to battle this one free down to the near side over to Meatsail. Here's Meatsail along the hip, keeping this one down in the corner of the, of the Toronto zone. Lemon trying to keep this one back behind his own goal line as he pit takes charge towards the top side of the ice off the forehand, trying to get this one through traffic. Banks this one off the far side glass. Here's Rodeo getting this one out of his own zone, but Lemon taking this one right back with a good shot opportunity. Just not quite able to muster enough on that one. Nice shot by Meatsell. Ocelot with all the answers down the near side. Tyron K with a nice pick against Kyler. I don't know how Kyler's so much faster than Tyron K. That's the second time he was going to beat him in a race. And I just, I don't know how that works. This, Irv, you got a, you got an answer for me? Good shot by Tyron K, but I think Ocelot was the last point of contact on that one. Ocelot down the near side trying to get this one free. Kyler, they're pinching this one loose to the top side. Good backhand opportunity. Goes up against the side of the cage from the sandwich from Toronto. Almost able to come out big with that one. Ocelot trying to dangle his way through the gauntlet. Well, that one comes down to the near side. Rodeo finds Kyler. Downloaded Rodeo. Not quite able to palm that one out of orbit. Here's Lemon Bond back behind his own goal line. Looking to take refuge to the top side of the ice. 25 seconds remain here in the second period of action. And the only goal scorer so far is Miami. Rodeo down the near side. Good bank pass over towards the top side of his own zone. Here's Kyler up against Tyron K. Forcing this one out the far side boards. Here's a point opportunity. For meat sale along the slot. 10 seconds remaining. Looking to take this one in himself. Lemon Bond back in his own K trying to meet and greet him. Tyron K with a nice stick check. Keeps Kyler from pulling the trigger on that one. Ocelot down in the neutral zone. And that's going to do it for the second period of action. 4-2. to two, Or 5-2. to two. 
and Miami picking up a few goals in that period. Toronto on the back pedal, looking to just generate any amount of offense. And um, whether that's server side or if it's, you know, you know, as yet to be determined. Toronto Penguins on the right side. Miami Vice on the left. The third and final period of regulation is underway. Rodeo looking towards the top side of the ice, looking to bring this one out and around town, down the near side, treading the waters off the forehand, not able to beat out Osloth. Meatsell looking to pick up where he left off, knocked loose over to Rodeo, off the backhand, or the forehand, down into the corner. Lemon wind up against Rodeo, and Kyler as well getting involved for the vice. It was off Osloth, out to Kyler. Kyler here with a nice forehand action. Looking to take this one out for a nice swivel. Beats out Osloth once, but not able to do it twice as Lemon Bond there shutting the gate down along the near side of the goal. Osloth down in the corner, battled up against Kyler, off the forehand. Osloth sending this one to the top side. Here's Meatsell down to Kyler. Off the backhand, Ocelot there battling with him. Tyron K as well getting involved, knocking that one loose down to the near side. And Lemon Bond getting a hand on this one. Ocelot there pinched off of Rodeo. Back into the defensive end for Miami. Kyler there with a the make pass. Hits uh, Lemon Bond, goes off Meat Sale. Meat Sale here. We're going to take this one down the near side. Nice stick check by Tyron K. Throws it on net and almost able to crash the crease to send that one in and packing for the boys in red. But here we are with a three point gap still. Tyron K, Meat Sale just kind of chilling out in the net. I respect it. We got a 2v2 for now. Kyler looking to take this one in. Ocelot, I believe, was the one to save that one away. Did Meat Sale die? Is Tyron K just kind of like shoving them around? They're doing their thing. I'm just going to let them have it. You know, $20 is $20. However you get it, however you get it. Nice shot by Rodeo. And he makes it six to two. Is that is that considered a rule one? Is that what a rule one is that is that a thing now? That wasn't a thing last week. Alright. Respect it. <laughs> M dub says it be like it is, so it must do. Um, we got a four point difference on the board right now. 333 remaining here in the third period of action. A lot of threes to consider, and one that almost made me have a stroke. Tyron K out in front of his own net. Lumbon trying to save the day, and save the day he did as Meat Sale was crashing down. Lumbon held the ceiling up. Ocelot out at the red line, lost to Meat Sale. Here's Kyler down low on the near side faceoff. Dutch trying to get this one through the traffic. Tyron K as well along the near side boards trying to battle for the Penguins. Able to find his way over to Lemon Bond. Kyler in hot pursuit of Lemon Bond off the back end. Maybe the forehand down to the near side. Here's Tyron K leaving that one go, looking for the pick, but not quite able to get contact on Kyler as he takes this one down. Finds Meat Sale out at the point. Trying to direct this one back to his own goal. Here's Kyler under control down the near side off the back and crosses this one over to rodeo here trying to dangle out lemon bond lemon bond getting the tip of the stick on that one rodeo retrieves this one back to kyler 252 remain in this third and final period of regulation kyler looking down low off the back and stopped up able to get around tyron k once twice out in front almost able to beat out the penguins defense but Ty or lemon bond of course the head honcho staying tall between the pipes kyler not done yet look to take this out one out for a wrapper i look for a passing lane of any former facet but he's just going to look to do it all tyron k they're trying to force this one loose but of course, Kyler, the good stick battle. Tyron K actually did, in fact, force this one loose down the near side. Rodeo, Tyron K trying to get this one out to the near side point. Here's Lemon Bond back to his own defensive end. Lost over to Rodeo. Rodeo out in front, hits the side of Meat Sale, sending this one towards his own netting, but not on. Good stick check by Tyron K trying to force Meat Sale to bobble this one up for a little bit of a stutter step, but, uh, you know, it'd be like it is. Here's Ocelot down low, looking for a shot, scores! And he makes it 3-6. to six. We have yet to see this game come to a close, and this is Toronto's spark of life. Let's see if they can bring the comeback on. You can never have a comeback if you're never down. Toronto's taking that one personally. We got a 3-6 game with two minutes remaining here in this third period of action. Rodeo trying to extinguish that flame immediately from the faceoff dot. Ocelot down the near side hits off Rodeo. Here's Lemon Bond off the back and look to direct that one over to Tyron K. Off Meat Sale down to the near side. Ocelot off the hip trying to take this one through. Rodeo there stopping him up at the red line. Trying to take this one down the near side. Ocelot, Ocelot getting this one out to the offensive blue line. But Meat Sale looking to take this one down low. Here's Rodeo off the back and stopped up by Ocelot. As he's looking towards the top side of the ice. Off the forehand able to send that one down and soaring. Tyron K not quite able to get the deflection goal in his pocket. Tyron K picking this one up top side out to Lemon Bond. Off the back end down in the corner. A Toronto sandwich up against Meat Sale. As Tyron K tries to take this one out in front of the opposing netting. Kyler up against Lemon Bond down to the near side. Here's Tyron K dangles his way down low. Goes off Kyler down to the near side. The reflection goes off Meat Sale and out of his own end. Lemon Bond throws this one back into the wrench. Or back into the clockwork. Back into the thick of it. I could have said anything and it would have made more sense of what I did. Kyler down towards the near side off the hip trying to take this one off the swivel. A little bit of a lag spike. Ocelot there getting a hand on this one. Rodeo down to the near side. Here's Kyler off the forehand with 103 remaining here in the third period of action. Three points the difference. Kyler dangles down in front of his own net. Ocelot looking to take him out 
for lunch. Tyron K seals it away. Tyron to get this one towards the netting, but not quite able to beat out Rodeo. Kyler down towards the near side. Tyron K there with a nice pick set. Nice shot by Lemon. Deflected wide by Kyler over to Osloth. Goes off Rodeo back to the defensive end. Out of the corner and down the length of the ice with 43 seconds remaining. Toronto down. Meat sale. The first point of contact down the near side. Able to find his way out to Kyler at his own blue line. He will retrieve it back to his own hash marks. Towards the top side of the ice. Looking for the bank pass out to Rodeo. Osloth stays in the lane beautifully. Kyler with a bank pass out towards the top side slot. Here's Rodeo down in the corner. Looking for a pass out to Mitzel. Goes off Tyron K and out of the zone. Kyler picking up possession. Looking for the top side of the ice. Off the back end. Looking to jive with it down towards the near side perhaps. No, he's just he's abiding his time. He's doing his things. He's, he's making them force his hand. And whenever you're in the lead by three, you really don't have any reason not to. Kyler out. Lemon Bond with a hand on that one. Kyler trying to beat him out for one last possession. Toronto out of his own end. Here's Rodeo. Radio down the near side off Osloth. Lemon Bond getting a hand, but that's going to do it. That's the end of the ball game. GG's go around and all good sportsmanship. But let's take a look at the statistics. Goal scores of the night for the Miami Vice. Three for Meat Sale, one for Kyler, two for Rodeo. For the Toronto Penguins, two for Osloth, and one for Tyron K. Lemon Bond having nine of the 11 saves for the Toronto Penguins. And that's all she wrote. Six to three. And, um, yeah, as long as the players weren't lagging, I don't have really any issue with that. I don't know what I'm doing. I might be still uploading a few volleyball games. That might be why. <laughs> it hasn't been an issue before. I didn't even think about it till now. Um, but of course, service st stayed healthy throughout the majority of the match. I can't really complain about that. Miami coming out on top. A 10-shot difference between these two teams. Miami really having the helm of the ship throughout the entirety of this matchup. Um, wild game. Low scoring, says Dave. What? Yeah. Some might say that whenever the Winter Park Owls and the Maryland Ice Orcas had a 16-13 decision on Sunday. Anything's a low-scoring game whenever it comes to that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, good matchup. Both sides of the ice playing their hearts out, just trying to do it all. And, of course, we've seen the victor out in front of us here tonight. But uh, I think that's going to do it. I don't really have anything else on the ballot. And, uh, yeah, ice coming out in a big way. Winning both of the matchups between the Vice and the Penguins. Penguins got their work cut out for them as we move into the tail end of the season. We'll see how they shape up or if they're going to be shipping up. Right now, Miami Vice taking second place. One point away from taking a tie for, or, yeah, one point away from tying up for first. Right now, Colorado Cobra is still holding that first place spot. We'll see how the rest of week number four continues as the Miami Vice look on to their future matches. And the Toronto Penguins have their two games on Sunday night. Hopefully, we'll be here to see all of it happen. But uh, that's going to do it here on the SPL Network. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Darth. Hopefully, we'll see you in the next one.